awkward. I'm not good in front of camera in a formal setting like this. <laughs> um. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So in a couple days I'm going off to Barcelona to spend a few days with my mum but after that I'm going to visit my family in England. So I need to pack quite a bit. So I thought that it would be a interesting idea, as I've seen a few people do this before, bring you along with me and show you how I pack. Um, so before we jump into actually getting the stuff out of my wardrobe, I thought I would take you along how I drew my packing list this time. It's very self-explanatory once you see it. Um, most of it is just boxes. <laughs> but Okay, so when designing this I was thinking more practicality than anything else, but I still wanted my notebook to look cute. So I went on to Procreate and just came up with this simple little design. Um, nothing special, literally just using one of the brushes um, from the app and went from there. By the way, sorry for my voice, it might be a li little bit scratchy. Um, I've had the, the fan on consistently for the last couple of days, so a bit scratchy voice. But anyway, moving on. Um, but yeah, I thought it was at least better than the plain notebook covers that um, you can see on GoodNotes, which is the app that I like using for these type of things. But yeah, um, moving on. Um, basically what I did was create a series of boxes that I could uh, organise everything I want to take um, with me into and organise it, categorise it properly. So basically we've got a backpack box, my laptop's gonna go in there, iPad, anything that I want easy access to while I'm in the airport. Then I've got a makeup bag and a wash bag square. It's very self-explanatory squares. <laughs> then um, I was debating what square to do next, but I thought, okay, let's do a big one for my small suitcase. Um, this is su the suitcase I'm taking on board with me um, as my carry-on um, suitcase. Um, and then also a square for chargers slash tech. Because I have a thing where sometimes I need to look for something or the item is very small, like my SD... Um, card adapter for my laptop um, so I just put things like that in there so they don't get lost if I were to be asked in security um, to get them out they're all in one place and I don't need to be rummaging through my back backpack so that's another one and then finally um, a snack pouch because I like having little nibbles on me um, just in case then I moved on to my big suitcase. As you can see, it's one full page. Um, I didn't really know how I wanted to list the items of clothing and whatnot that I wanted to bring with me at this point. So I just made a full square and um, thought about that later on. Lastly, I remembered that I also was going to be taking some stationery slash books with me so I added that. This category is mainly for my bujo to go in, um, any fiction books such as Harry Potter or whatnot that I want to bring with me. Um, so those would go in there and then lastly important documents such as my European health card, my local health card, <laughs> my passport, my ID card, 
debit card, stuff like that that I obviously need to have on me when traveling. So yeah, that's that and let's go back to the video. So now that we've gone over that and you know what that looks like, I'm going to start going through and grabbing stuff. So this might be a very long video, might be a very short video, we will see, but I'm not going to explain why I'm grabbing each piece, but maybe like a general reason why of each category, we will see. I haven't decided yet, but we're going to get started. Um, things like my backpack, my makeup bag, my wash bag, um, chargers and whatnot, those are all things that are going to be last minute. So we're mainly going to be focusing on clothes. dresses I would like to keep them as um, creaseless as possible so these I'm gonna keep them hanged up outside my wardrobe until I'm definitively gonna pack taking my blazer because it's a good jacket to, to layer with um, and you can doll it up and you can doll it down put a hoodie underneath it looks more casual leave it as is it's more put together anyway first time I'm also taking with me my very thin shirt type jean jacket because it's good for layering um, as a jacket okay so I'm gonna end the video here um, all of the rest of what I need to pack such as wash bag um, makeup bag my backpack my small stuff and whatnot are things that I'm gonna have to do more last minute so I'm gonna leave the video here I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless oh Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!